Hello, my friendly acquaintances. Just a quick product review in real time. And I haven't even done anything with this yet, but you're going to watch me and my initial reaction to the Fulton flashlight. If you were in Boy Scouts or the military, you know what this is. So I'll explain. It's a right angle flashlight. If you're like me, you're into flashlights. Those that know me know that I'm a flashlight aficionado chapstick aficionado, and a pocket knife aficionado. Oh, and dental floss, too. Anything that, like, helps dental floss, like those little placker things. And so just, like, I get obsessed with, like, just, like, little things like that. Anyways, so the latest flashlight that I have, I'm spitting now because I'm so excited about this, is a Fulton flashlight. If you were in Boy Scouts or the military, you know what a Fulton flashlight is. It can sit on a flat surface, okay? It's got a clip where you can clip it on your belt. So if you're walking through the woods or if you're hiking or doing a morning walk, is it big and clunky? Not as much as you think. It's got a switch on it. And I'm just telling you what I remember from when I was in Boy Scouts 8 million years ago. It's off. You turn it on like it's uh, indexed. So you put it up one notch and then this little button right here, you can use it. Uh, for Morse code, or you can flash with it, with this button, or just turn it on. So let's just put some batteries in. It takes two D cells. Pretty interesting thing. Kind of like old-fashioned. It's very analog, right, in this digital world, in the LED world. So let's just check this out. Put your two D cells in. It's got a rubber O-ring, which makes it waterproof. Put the D cell in two D cells, and it's rugged. All right. Ah, all right. Let's see. Fairly bright, right, for an incandescent bulb. The other thing about a Fulton flashlight, oh, let me show you the uh, this thing here. And then you press that button. Okay. Pretty cool. A metal cliff. It's not plastic. This is not going to break at all. This is not a toy. Another interesting thing about the Fulton flashlight is the interesting little compartments it has in it. Like, I just unscrewed and screwed on the part that holds the batteries. But there's another thing that unscrews. And what does that hold? It holds... These, a blue filter and a red one. If you're in the woods and you are hunting, a red light is great to not be, to not give up your position. So here we go. There's just like the regular white light. And let's see how this goes in. Screw that off. And let's put in the red. We'll just drop that into that ring right there. I didn't do this yet. I did this like 45 years ago. So here we go. There's the red. Put that in. I'm not editing this out. Keeping it real here. Put the red one in and screw it on. All right. Okay, cool. So you could use it to direct traffic or just get through the woods or on your walk, early morning walk, your 4 a.m. walk, you can use this. You could hook it, you know, like clip it on your, on the back of your belt or on the front to be seen. But I like the right angle. I like this right angle like this. Pretty cool. So it comes with these, the blue and the red filter. Let's try the blue. See, oh, let me just see something here. Okay. That's cool. Let's put the blue one in and see what that looks like. Screw that off. Take the blue one out. Screw that on. This thing's a beast. Dude, it's a beast. 
put the red one back in there on the bottom so it kind of contains itself. You're not going to lose the filters. Okay, cool. Blue. You really can't see it in the light here. I'm in a lit room, but I should have done this in the dark, right? Take that off. Now, do I like incandescent lights? Yes, they have their place. They do seem to get hot. They get warm. And there's a solution. And they're not really that bright. I mean, when you when you started getting LED flashlights, you were amazed at how bright they were. Like I have one that is a thousand lumens. Let me just take a little detour here. As a flashlight aficionado, have you ever seen this? Look at it's here's of course my other obsession is chapsticks. This light here is big as a chapstick. Okay. This is one of the brightest lights I have, and it's no bigger than a damn chapstick. I mean, that's insane. That is, this will light up this whole room. It is amazing. It's not a focused beam. This will light up a path, walking. You know what I do? I'll show you what I do. There's times where I take this clip off. it on like that and there you go all right so you make a light while you're working on stuff in the dark whatever this thing is so bright it's it's just amazing i don't even know if they sell these anymore so if i find it i'm going to put a link for it down below so you might not even want the fulton light you might want this little thing here but either way you can't go wrong but i'm of the belief that you can't have enough flashlights in your possession i have like flashlights everywhere I have a, uh, a mag light with an LED conversion kit in my truck. And I bought like these C clamps where it just kind of like snaps in and it's like on the side of my seat. And of course, mag lights are great because you can use them as a self-defense weapon. Remember these? I mean, this is this thing right here. This is a Duracell for, you know, it's got four D cells in it. Very bright, ridiculous bright. It's got this stand, so it's a it's a work light. You put it on a bench or, you know, on a table or on the ground, and it will illuminate whatever you're doing. Remember these big old giant lanterns? Remember these things? I still love this thing. So the we're gonna crank it up a notch, as Emerald Lagasse says. I. As I was clicking around, I saw that there's an LED conversion kit for the Fulton light. And I got it. I'll put links for it down below. Take the D cells out. Wait till you see what this does. Wait till you see. Take the two D cells out. And guess what? We have a LED conversion kit for the Fulton light. Now, Let's take this thing off. I took this apart. I actually cut it open with scissors. You ever try to cut these things or like tear them apart or use a knife? Like these, these like, I forget. What do they call these? What, what do they call this packaging? This stuff is deadly. I've cut my fingers so many times just opening like these types of packages. They're ridiculous. It's crazy. Anyways, the LED conversion kit. I'm doing this in real time. This is the size of a D cell. So let's just try this here. You open this up and it takes two double A batteries. Where are they? Oh, they're in my pocket. Here we go. Double A battery. I hope I do this right. Kind of snaps right in there. Okay, that's cool. Now, I wonder if I did that properly. Well, we'll find out, won't we? And then the second one, so instead of two D cells, it'll take two A cells. Okay, snapped right in there. So now I have the equivalent 
of two D cells, but they're A cells inside of this D cell conversion thing. But wait, there's more. Take this off. There's, you know, the reflector. Let's take that off. Hypothetically speaking. Come on, don't make a fool out of me now. Ah, there we go. All right, so there's the incandescent bulb. All right? They're okay. But in the LED conversion kit, you get an LED light. How many lumens is this? I don't know. 50 lumens. All right. It's made in the USA. Let's put this in. And of course, you can get them much brighter than this. Screw that back on. Screw this back on. Now let's put in these fake D cells. I hope I did that right. Put the bottom back on. I don't think I did it right. When all else fails, follow the directions. I think I put it in backwards because that spring is not going to come in contact with the contact. So let's... It helps to actually have batteries that are not discharged. Those were the batteries that I used in Christmas ornaments this year. So I'm using a brand new set of AA batteries. Put them in the conversion kit. This better work, man. This better work. That's all I have to say. It is going to go flying through the window. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Whoa! Woo! Oh my gosh. Here's the stats on this. Uh, it's made in the United States. It consumes one watt of electricity. The bulb is a 50 lumen bulb. Reduced battery consumption for low battery cost. Requires two AA batteries. Two AA alkaline battery life is over 20 hours of continuous use with the LED bulb. And two AA alkaline batteries are five times lighter than two D-cell alkaline batteries. Now, you tell me, you tell me what is brighter. Holy cow. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, I don't know how many lumens this little dog is here, but let's just take a look and see. Pretty darn bright, isn't it? Let's shine on the wall behind me. Pretty wild. I am redeemed. <laughs> Turn this off. Again, light as a feather. Now it's light as a feather. I really, really like it. You can stand it up. You can't see it now, but stand it up on a platform. Shine toward your work project. Clip it on your belt. Here we go embarrassing me again. Well, that is one tight clip. I am betting that it will clip on a leather belt, not on gym shorts. There we go. The links for everything are down below. This is a Fulton flashlight. If you were in the military, you know this. If you were in Boy Scouts at all in the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s, you know what this is. I'm pumped. Of course, after embarrassing myself with two dead batteries, that didn't help. Link is below. 
you're a flashlight aficionado like me, I don't even know if they sell this one anymore. I got this at REI, which is like my kind of go-to spot. But there you go. So my morning walk tomorrow morning, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the this or the, you know what? Let's try the red light or the red lens in it and see how bright that is. I mean, you could direct traffic in it, not that you, not that you would want to. Let's see how bright that will be with the red lens. The red lens, get it? Viewing life through the red lens. The red pill lens. Yeah! Woo! Remember when you would scare your little brother? Wah! Get the Fulton light.